Welcome to UBC Arc Sockeye for Complete Noobs Part 1 Understanding Your Personal Computer. High performance computing, also known as HPC, can be intimidating at first glance. These technologies can be very helpful in conducting research that wouldn't be possible on your personal computer. Yet, introductions to HPC can often assume you already have experience in computing. This can be confusing or intimidating if you are completely new to this field. This is what inspired us to make this video, Sockeye for Complete Noobs. We want to give a plain language overview of the concepts that are fundamental to getting set up with UBC Arc Sockeye. This video is the first in a series of introductory videos on Sockeye. The next videos will do a deeper dive into the concepts I'll be speaking to in this video. I'll do my best to introduce these ideas, but if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at arc.support at ubc.ca and we'd be happy to help. Before I talk about HPC, which will be covered in part two of this series, I want to talk a bit about your personal computer. Understanding how it works will help you better understand HPC. You can think of the insides of your computer as a brain. Every home computer has a central processing unit, or a CPU, which can be thought of as part of your computer's brain and is responsible for carrying out all the tasks your computer does. Your computer also has a certain amount of memory, known as RAM, which serves a few different functions. It loads and runs programs and allows you to switch between multiple programs. Memory allows for the short-term storage of data so that it can be quickly accessed by your CPU to perform tasks. In addition to RAM, your computer also has a hard disk drive for the longer-term storage of data and files. Unlike RAM, which will lose all its information when your computer is turned off or restarted, your computer's disk storage is long-term and will retain files until they're deleted or there's a hardware failure. Finally, computers have graphic processing units, or GPUs, which traditionally have helped speed up the rendering of graphics to make things look really cool on your screen, but have recently been gaining use in more advanced types of computing, like artificial intelligence and machine learning. If we go back to our discussion on CPUs, you'll remember that CPUs are responsible for carrying out a computer's tasks. This is done by something called CPU cores. A CPU core is an individual processing unit of a computer's CPU and receives and executes a single computing task. Most personal computers have between two and eight cores. While one core is carrying out one task, others can work on different tasks at the same time. You're probably asking yourself, how is it possible that more people aren't smashing their computers out of frustration if a computer only has two cores? The answer to this is that modern CPU cores have a system called multiple threading, which, in a very simple sense, is a software that allows a single CPU core to switch among multiple tasks super quickly, making it seem as though the tasks are being done simultaneously. Even with state-of-the-art laptops, you still may not have enough CPU cores to run your analysis quickly. If your analysis is taking many hours or days, or your computer keeps crashing, or you need GPUs for your work, then HPC might be right for you. UBC Arc Sockeye has just under 16,000 CPU cores and 200 GPUs, so you can start to get a feel for just how big the system really is and the type of work it's capable of. So that's a wrap for part one of the UBC Arc Sockeye for Complete Noobs video. Part 2 will build on the concepts discussed here and will introduce UBC Arc Sockeye and how the system works. Thanks for watching, and again, if you have any questions for us, please don't hesitate to reach out at arc.support at ubc.ca.